like going through all my jeans and these ones didn't fit me like a month ago, but they do now. So I got all of my thread up stuff washed. Those are two that probably another five pounds, but these fit and these fit and I'm excited. All right, we're on a mission you guys and then we're gonna go decorate. I have to go to Steph's place and check on the kitties and then I'm getting bubble tea. Jess and I ordered um, Italian food and we're gonna drink wine and decorate and it's gonna be fucking lit as fuck. Christmas Doge. <laughs> Are you just gonna let this happen? <laughs> okay, we put it back on Blake. Ah, oh, fudge. Oh, wait, no, we've got others. It sucks to suck. <laughs> That's Blake. really cute. <sighs> Hates it. Hates her whole life. Can you eat this? <laughs> Finny, are you a Jingle Bell boy? He's like, fuck me up. My worst nightmare ever. Jack, did you want to jingle? Oh, yes, we have Christmas poops. And Jack's first good happy Christmas. And Finny's second happy Christmas. <laughs> mouth oh she doesn't even have it it looked like a poop but it was a stick so it's fine but Jess almost had a little bomb <laughs> that was disgusting <laughs> oh my god you how do you like your first Christmas your oh a good tail wig oh that's exciting say I like it so far but it's just a nod so I sit up here next to my twinkle lights and I sit and I watch. The tree is done! Look at how cute it looks. Look at how cute we look. So Christmassy. Oh, okay. <gasps> Are you an angel? Can you take a yes. Good girl. So there's the tree. And oh my god, what's at the top? Oh, it's us. <laughs> What are you doing? Yes. She's tired after all the pillow humping today. Hi, pretty girl. What are you doing? Are you festive yet? Hey. Hey, I'm talking to you. What are you doing? <laughs> I just wanted on record that I think this is a bad idea. <laughs> The dogs agree with me. Jess is gonna use a beauty blender as a backstop for a fucking <laughs> medical needle to pierce her ear. No, it's the same thing. Is it? It's not though. <laughs> oh, look at all the innocence and then all of the bad ideas. <laughs> I heard that Ashley has agreed to do this if Jess can't. Yeah, I'll <laughs> shove it. I'll shove the needle in your ear. I mean, there's still time. You can still eat something. Hey, little dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably not helping that we're both watching, but I really want to see this. Yeah, I can't <laughs> not watch. You did it! Yeah. I should, didn't think this through. I should have pierced it the other way. Hello. I don't know why I always start vlogs going downstairs. We're over at Steph's and just did the cat stuff. They got their wet food and cleaned their litter box. Luna got a treat. She's also 
on a little car ride so she can have a break from being around a million other animals. We're gonna go to the pet store, get her maybe some more food. I don't know, She, I've been just mixing kind of what she has with what everyone else has been eating and she's okay with that, so. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. Um, and then I'm gonna get Jack a, a tag. Oh, that reminds me, okay. Good thing I started vlogging or I would have forgotten Luna's collar and her uh, halter and everything. So I need to find that. I'm vlogging again on the stairs. It's just, it is what it is. So I spent this morning doing some Patreon Skype calls and then I uploaded a video. I had to do a thumbnail. So that's pretty much what I've done this morning. And now I'm very, very hungry and I need to find something to eat. Okay, we've settled on scrambled eggs. Now I'm trying to decide what I wanna make for dinner because I'm stuck between either pad thai or making fettuccine alfredo with like an eggplant parmesan. I don't know. We'll see, because I do have to go out. I wanna go out to um, Marshall's again because I forgot about a couple people that I have to buy presents for and gotta do it, gotta do it. Plus they restock their stock on Monday, which I know because I'm there too much. So, you know, at least that's what one of the workers told me. So, being that today, it is Monday. <laughs> I'm gonna go in after I'm done eating and um, see how it goes. Also, second day hair, but not as bad as the last couple of days. So, not mad about it. Okay, I've decided on fettuccine mostly because I asked Jess what she wanted. She said fettuccine. So, flour, eggs, salt, you just basically mix it up until it looks something like that. So I kneaded this together. This is about two and a half cups of flour with three eggs and a little bit of salt. And I kneaded it for about 10 minutes. And it's it's not like, I don't know, it's it like bounces back, you know? So I put it in saran wrap. I'm gonna leave it wrapped up until I need to actually work with it. The longer it rises, I find the better. And also I just disinfect all of my counters because animals. But yeah, so it's also a very messy process, so cleaning up as you go, it helps. Okay, now I'm gonna go get my purse, put on a shirt that isn't, oh for fuck's sakes, and uh, we're gonna run off to Marshall's and see if we can't find a couple of gifts for a couple of people. I just got my Sephora package, the very last one that I will be buying in all of 2019 and for hopefully the most part of 2020 <laughs> uh, but I'm excited I'll open it when I get home so at least if uh, you know Marshall's is a bust there was still something fun that came out of this outing also I need to tell you about this book that I finished I think I mentioned like a couple weeks ago because I've been on this book for like a month maybe two just kind of every time I'm driving for a long-ish period of time, I'll put on Becoming by Michelle Obama. It is a very long read. And by read, I mean audible. Um, it was something like 20 some hours, but it was amazing. I finished it yesterday. And the last part of the book made me cry. It was so good. It's just like, I felt lucky to be able to read that book, to be able to, okay, I don't need sunglasses, to be able to like live in a time where the Obamas were in office, she was the first lady, this was her life experience, and she wrote this book, like I felt really lucky to be able to read it. Oh my God, she's so eloquent and her life is just so relatable and inspirational and her opinions on things like Donald Trump and everything like she was able to kind of like say how inappropriate it is for him to be in office and treating people like this but still be so poised and it was just it was just amazing so that's the book that I just finished I canceled my audible because I had like four or five credits that I needed to catch up on and I had been really living with that Michelle Obama book. So I need to uh, to get those books that I traded them in for under my belt before I go back in for more. And I always do, I love Audible. 
sponsor me <laughs> as I'm like, no, I canceled it. Um, but I do love Audible and I'm, I don't know which one to read next. I don't know if I want to go from like kind of an autobiography sort of deal to another one. I think I might do more of like one of those self-help ones. I have a couple business books that I, I got just to like habits of success with people and stuff like that. I don't know. Those are extra motivating. Almost $200 later, I've got Jess's present, Andra's present, part of my brother's present, part of his girlfriend's present, my dad's present. I need my mom and the other part of my um, brother's present. So, holy f <laughs> I feel good about it though because Steph and I have already exchanged gifts. I got her a Natasha Denona palette and then I got her this uh, dog DNA thing because she's always talking about how she wants to find out exactly what Luna is. So I got her that for Christmas. I've already given it to her. She got me the Natasha Denona uh, Metropolis palette which and oh my gosh I don't know. I think that's it because me and Bronwyn I already got her a couple of things as well. Uh, I'm trying to think. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I'm missing anybody because I think I'm just going to stop at the liquor store and grab some stuff there for my mom and my brother because like my mom's so hard to buy for you know she just doesn't really like want anything she doesn't really like make up that much she buys clothes on her own she like is trying to downsize the house so house decor stuff won't work but she likes wine <laughs> so wine it is <laughs>